Hey guys, it's Amanda. How are you doing? Um, I hope you're good. And today I'm gonna go back to my core mission that I had before I decided that I also was going on an all by year. Um, so the first thing that I started thinking about my makeup collection was that I need to use some of the stuff that I've bought and then used maybe once and then never touched again. So my my goal is basically to make sure that I've used absolutely everything within my collection at least once, which shouldn't be too hard, you would think. So I went through my collection and I found this um, crayon from Elamesca, which is yellow, as you can see. Um, and I also found this liquid lipstick from NYX, which is orange. And um, I don't know how I ever thought that I was going to use that on my lips. But I think I bought it more as like, I just want everything in every color which is um you know a good thought but actually it doesn't help me in my life whatsoever so i bought both of these when i was a bit more into doing like creative makeup um nowadays i feel like i don't do that quite as much so i don't get as much use of everything that i have that is um any color other than brown so basically I was just trying to find like a middle ground between something that's maybe more creative and something that's more wearable. Um, and I didn't really have a plan for it when I sat down. I just, sometimes I just like to sit down and you know, start doing something and see what that takes me. That's kind of my favorite way of doing makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. So I'm gonna start with this crayon from Illamasqua, which is in the shade higher, which is a yellow. Um, and I feel like it was a great idea and they just never really went anywhere with it, which is maybe fair enough because I think people who do beauty makeup, they wouldn't really find a use for anything like this. Um, but I really appreciated it. So I have it in a few shades and it's great. Next, I'll go in with Raw from Makeup Store, which is a satin yellow. Um, so it's not like a full on matte yellow. And I think that's a bit cuter. For most, eyeshadows I prefer matte but for some reason with yellow I feel like it just needs a bit of sparkle so the next step is something that I might regret because I'm planning on taking a liquid lipstick and putting it in my waterline um, that's probably not a good idea and I might go blind but hey so I'm gonna use a brush because I don't actually want to put this one straight in my eye This is a tiny bit unhygienic, but I never use this on anyone else. Um, and I never really use it on my lips either. I don't know why I bought it. I actually don't really like orange, um, but I think it was on a kick where I was like, I need to have every single color of everything in my collection, which is a fair point in one way. And then it's not such a fair point when you realize that you've bought heat that you're never gonna use, which as we know, I am on a mission against. I'm also going to put a tiny bit of orange here in the outer corner of my eye. I'm actually trying to keep this look slightly one dimensional. Um, and I don't want to do the whole like, um, I don't know, the way I normally do my eyeshadow, like with blending shadows up here to create dimension. Because I think that's a, that's a nice look, but I don't want to do my eyeshadow the same way every single time. So it's going to be a bit different but I don't like having just one shade on my eyes. And then to kind of set and enhance what I've done with the liquid lipstick, which seems to be working out fine, I'm not dying yet. I'm gonna set and enhance it a bit with Devil from the Saints and Sinners palette by Kat Von D. And because I do want a bit more dimension and some shine, I'm gonna go in with Relic also from the Saints and Sinners palette. I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner and because that gold is already quite satiny and a bit shimmery, it blends in really nicely. Now, I often find that the difference between a really editorial look versus a look that you would wear out is oftentimes just what you do with liner and mascara. So if I was to put a cat eyeliner on this um, and some normal mascara and maybe some falsies, it would be, you know, it'd be a pretty strong look, but it wouldn't be that strange to see somebody go out like that. Whereas if I put, for example, orange mascara and maybe no liner, then it would keep it a lot more editorial. So, yeah, that's something that I've thought about. 
But today I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just tight line a bit on my top waterline. So when it comes to lips, I don't wanna. I could wear the orange one that I used on my eyes, but I don't really wanna do that. Um, that's a bit much. So I'm gonna use um, Lolita. I think I've got Lolita too because it's fairly neutral, but it still has a bit of an orange tone, at least on me. So. Yeah, I feel like that would um, bring in the orange a bit without being like too much. As a side note, I've recently realized just how much I hate liquid lipsticks. Like I do enjoy how well they stay on, um, but I feel like they are all so drying. So I really don't know why they became such a thing. <sighs> that was a fun little experiment. Um, good reminder for myself and hopefully maybe for you as well to mix things up a bit sometimes, don't always do the same thing, um, don't take it so seriously, like makeup is supposed to be fun and you know, don't feel so constrained by what things technically are, like just because something says lipstick on it doesn't mean you have to use it on your lips only, um, you can do whatever you want because at the end of the day it's just, you know, you're just painting on your face. That being said, probably don't put liquid lipstick in your eye. That was not a good idea. Um, but I survived and I will be with you next week. So please subscribe. Um, hopefully I will be alive by then. Um, and yeah, I will see you later. Bye.